perpetual bubbles magically form, then slowly but surely inexorably rise toward the surface. Once they contact air, the joyful dance comes to a halt, upon which the little spheres explode with a hardly perceivable crackling sound, lifting a fragrant mist that fills our senses. A long game, a provocation, providing stimulating sensations that tickle our lips and nostrils. A mesmerizing rhythm of beading bubbles that enraptures our glance, drawing it far away through elegant landscapes, places where nature is generous yet unspoiled, with its consistent change of seasons and rhythms, a natural setting with deep historical roots. This is Francia Corta. Francia Corta is a territory in the heart of Lombardy that extends from Lake Iseo to the city of Brescia well known for its production of wine. Here, grapevines flourish within select locations, nestling amongst medieval villages, abounding over rolling hills, across paths treaded on by the Celts, the same territories conquered by the Romans, lands that were formed by the Clunian monks, St. Peter and Limoges Monastery near Lake Isel, the convent of the Santissima Annunciata dating back to the 15th century, the medieval castle of Pazirano, Villa Lecchi in Erbusco, the Olivitana Abbey of Rodengo Sayano, all pieces of history that have remained, leaving unaccountable visitors breathless, inspired by this union between spiritual and terrestrial pleasures, showing how time has marked its course on the surroundings, time that follows Earth's rhythms, here in Francia Corte. The area itself that contains memories of millions upon millions of years of glaciations and natural weathering. The parts that have settled into the Earth and transformed it into crystals, minerals, and elements that only the roots of a plant will search for tenaciously. A plant that will need to suffer to yield its best fruits. Chardonnay, Pinot Bianco and Pinot Nero have all found their ideal settings among the Morenic Hills. In their magical encounter with the soil day by day, the shaping force of the winds, the water, the cold, the sun, the passage of days and nights will furnish these strong and generous plants with the energy to nourish their fruits. An unrivaled synthesis of so much wealth until they finally offer themselves to the hands of man. Harvest is the moment at which those long months of work in the fields are rewarded. It's a ritual that should be performed with special care. A maximum of 10,000 kilograms of grapes per hectare can be produced in the vineyards. The precious bundles, carefully hand-picked, are placed in small containers so that they may be taken to the cellar without damage. Here, after a final selection, Soft pressing collects the first juices, the richest ones. From here, natural fermentation will initiate the creative cycle of the Francia Corta wine, as we know it. Every parcel of this land has its story to tell. Every vine that inhabits it is a faithful expression. Every wine obtained is unique and inimitable, expressive of its individual character and the life it lived. In spring, some months after the harvest, the individual musts that have turned into wines with their own well-delineated personality are ready for the assemblage. The style of the assemblage is determined by each winemaker's ability to interpret his product and foresee its evolution. Man, once again, plays the central part and he himself will determine the balance of his wines. He will materialize the synthesis of the grapes and winemaking of the territory and man's techniques. He will create his wine. The 
foundations for the future Francia Quarter wine and its individuality starts here. The Brut, a perfectly balanced taste for any occasion. The Satin, voluptuous and surrounded by softness. The Non Dosato, strong character and uncompromising strength. The Rosé, bridging the gap between structure and elegance. The Millesimati, challenging time with inimitable complexity. The perfect balance that will give life to the future Francia Corta. Francia Corta, the territory. Wine is its main product, a destiny that already emerged in the 13th century. It was in that period when these lands were entrusted to the Clunian monks who reclaimed and planted it with grapevines. These lands then became known as Corti Franche, meaning lands exempt from taxes. Immediately, the area proved to bear excellent fruits. And in 1570, the Brescian doctor Gerolamo Conforti, in his treatise Libellus de Vino Mordaci, described a certain production of Mordaci wines, or sparkling wines, in this France Corte region. Today, the area is known for its production of Francia Corta wines. In a jingling, orderly procession, bottles that have been filled with the assembled chosen cuvée are carried over long steel belts. Nothing more will be left to chance. A mixture of sugar and yeasts will be added to each bottle. A first hermetic closure in metal or a traditional cork closes off what's inside from the outer world. The bottles appear to be all the same, anonymous, stacked one on top of the other in compact and mobile blocks, letting life inside them continue its normal course. These yeasts will transform the wines into Francia Corta, as we know it. From here, everything will be entrusted to time, the one and only responsible agent for this wine's metamorphosis. Time is the absolute sovereign in the cellar, time at its own pace, time that makes no exceptions, heedless of the rapid succession of autumns and springs, the freezing night air, or the blazing sun. In the quiet cellars, shrouded in a mantle of darkness, the yeasts consume the sugars ever so slowly, transforming themselves. The same way a music box transforms sound into music, the flavors and aromas are exalted, creating the joyful, sparkling bubbles that finally dance merrily in our glasses. On the most important and regal tables, accompanied by the flavors of sumptuous foods. Highlighting the most romantic and refined meals, recalling moments of intimacy and gentle whispers. In good company or in warm and familiar places. Moments of friendship, youthful, informal and genuine. While the weather outside continues to paint its seasons, the yeasts continue to work inside the bottles. Finally, they deposit themselves at the bottom, waiting for time to pass. But only in the case of the French Quarter does the yeast season last so long, at least 18 months, never a day less, to yield the fragrances and the structure. And for the millesimato, or vintage, it's much, much longer. When the time arrives, Following a tradition unaltered by centuries, each bottle is placed neck down on a rack. Several times a day for about 10 days, the hands of experts slightly turn the bottles while raising their inclination. The lifeless yeasts slowly build up near the metal crown or traditional cork, clarifying the wine inside more and more. The soft, crystal clear sound of the bottles moving fades into the silence of the cellar, announcing that the long wait is about to end.
partial immersion in a freezing liquid allows a small quantity of wine and the dead yeast to be frozen. From there, technology takes care of what was done by hand until a short time ago. A single quick and firm movement removes the metal crown. The internal pressure bursts through the frozen portion with the leftover yeasts and the clarified Franciacorta wine is ready for the last fundamental procedure. The bottles must be topped up after having lost a small portion of its wine along with the yeasts. Such a small amount, but so crucial. This last small quantity is what brings about the final expression. It's what determines the wine's style, its category and flavour. It sums up the philosophy of every winemaker. Just as an artist mixes his colours, each producer judges the exact quantity of sugar that will characterise his own Franciacorta, whether it'll be dry or rounded, or with a very slight, hardly noticeable hint of sweetness. Rituals that have been repeated the same way since time forgotten. Rituals that tell what nature, man and technology are capable of doing. Rituals creating a product that brings joy, curiosity, pleasure, as well as providing some intrigue, seduction and opulence to life. Respect. Because no other wine is given so much attention. No other bottle is touched, handled, checked and looked after with so much special care each and every bottle, one by one, until it finally arrives in the hands of the person who opens the cork and cascades the Francia Corta into his glass. Tiny, sensual bubbles magically form, then slowly, but surely, inexorably rise toward the surface. <laughs>